I just can't help but try and collect rare things. Our very first roll is a bone blade, 1 in 8. And it even tells us how many exist. There's 162,000 in existence, but that actually looks pretty cool already. So if it didn't have the numbers up above, I could say this is a 1 in a million blade and people would believe it. But we're going to continue on rolling. I already got another bone blade. At least it turned to daytime so we can see things again. And then we got a rarer blade. And I can also swing the sword. It does an animation. There's an iron fang, 1 in 4. Skip. Silver leaf, 1 and 2. I bet there's a lot of those in existence. We need to explore around and uh, see what else we can find. There's got to be some kind of boosters out there. I found the place where everyone fights. Uh, I didn't know that was a thing in here, so we'll hit people with their sword later. We just need a sword that can actually make us seem like we're good at this. Okay, I found the shop, and this is where we need to collect certain things, and we'll do uh, make stuff that gives us way better luck. The only one I recognize so far is Shatterblade, which we found several of, but we haven't kept. That's only 1 in 16. But I feel like there's no need to wait, we're just gonna start with quick open now. The faster we can open, the more rare things we're likely to find. That's much quicker. Now we just click and it opens. And I see after 81 more opens, we get an automatic thing. This chest is definitely very gold. Maybe it gives you better luck 1 in 10. This is still 1 in 2, that's garbage. I don't ever want to see that again. Okay, it won't automatically skip things like this. Opal Osizer, 1 in 6,000. That was a really lucky start. Like even this guy's probably been here for a while, only has 1 in 10,000. I've already found a sword that's nearly as good. There's only 15,000 of these bad boys in existence. There's two of them. This guy's got one in question mark, so that might actually be something rare or something you buy. I'm not really sure. This also looks very expensive. I can't really see the numbers in there. 1 in 20,000. And we have a cool looking aura when we do spin this. But we gotta keep rolling. We need better. I do have to say, I like the scenery of this, in between the obnoxious chest opening in my face, but at least it reminds me I'm addicted to gambling. I skipped over the cool thing like Valhalla Vanguard, although I'll probably still find one. We did also just go past a Crimson Shard, that's only 1 in 32, so it just automatically skipped over it. I don't know if I have a filter, I haven't found it yet, so I think it's only gonna warn us about things that are quite rare. Crimson Shard does look pretty good. We also just saw Heaven's Earth go by, that's 1 in 128. Heaven's Faith, rather. That one looks pretty good as well, but it clearly didn't pause for that one. I did just find the Foul Fang, 1 in 64. I actually need that to create my first item. Also, I just went to open the chest and found whatever this is, which gave me the most boring sword in the world. So we've given our Foul Fang to this gentleman, but now we need one Heaven's Faith and three Crimson Shards. Oh, so there's a Voidwalker, 1 in 256. I'm actually going to keep that because that's rare enough it might be used here. And it actually is. Actually, the sword we're wearing currently, too, is needed here, so I'm going to go ahead and stuff that in. Uh, apparently, in order to unequip that, I need to grab a new sword and then equip that, which is an interesting mechanic, but that means I can get rid of the old one. And then it's back to mindlessly rolling, hoping for something lucky. There's one of the Crimson Shards we need. It's nice that it's only 1 in 32. That'll give us a 20% boost once we find all of that. I did also just find another Foul Fang. We don't need that for anything yet, but it's a little bit rare, so I'm definitely going to equip that. That way I don't look like such an amateur at this game. We have a glowy sword again. And that animation looks much better. There's another shatter blade. I think I need at least one more of those, but we're getting closer. The shatter blade is needed for the next thing. That would be minus 15% cooldown. That's also quite good. Found another shatter blade. That's going in. Those are done. There's need crimson shards and celestial edges. Okay, I finally found the uh, skip warning. So we're going to auto-equip anything over a thousand and we're going to skip anything over probably 50 for now. Uh, then again, we're going to need a warning for things much lower than that. So 16 it is. But now at least we can sit back and relax and let this thing go. This is going to be so much quicker. Except for these chests. This one always takes a second. Uh, we did just get a Heaven's Faith, which we need. I also found a Circuit Cleaver. It just uh, automatically equipped it. That's one in 7,500. So we'll definitely be equipping this. Only one in, well, 13,000 exist. Uh, this also looks very cool. So we're going to enjoy this one for a while, unless it's needed in a shop, at which point we'll be donating it almost immediately. So Heaven's Faith goes in there. We just need two more Crimson Shards. And whatever we just found was a Circuit Cleaver, correct? So we need to decide which one of these we're going to do. Uh, we need this one for the other one, so this one's going to be the first to go. Uh, we need more swords now. We're back to equipping the uh, mundane foul thing, but we're going to donate the other one to a good cause. I just want two more shatter blades. I think I still needed one or two to finish this off. Nope, shatter blades are actually done. I just need crimson shards and celestial edges. 
Okay, there's one of the crimson shards I need, 1 in 32. This one also looks pretty good. Who doesn't like a good red glow? Still gonna need one more to complete the item, but one more shouldn't take long. It was literally the first chest I opened, so our luck is clearly getting better. So, three crimson shards, we're gonna craft that, we put that on, and then we get 15% better, 20% better luck. As it turns back today, next we're gonna want the sunstone amulet, that's 50% luck, so we need circuit cleaver, celestial edge, opal, or sizer. And those are all pretty high up there, so I'm gonna stick to like anything over a thousand is gonna be the skip warning. And to make sure we're getting adequate luck, we're gonna buy lucky, two times luck on top of that. I'm also gonna buy a few of these things, uh, and we're just gonna auto roll with this for now. This gives 50% luck, that gives 25% cooldown, and I'm pretty sure that'll be a temporary thing. Yeah, judging by the time we're at the top, so we'll see if these actually uh, stack. Currently we have 106 seconds of that, if we use another one, yep, they do stack, so we're going to use them all, then we're going to auto roll for a few minutes. So our luck is much, much higher than it was 4 minutes ago. But we're going to go through these very quickly and hopefully find something amazing. Oh, we got a big chest opening, that's got to be better luck, it was still such a basic item, 1 in 2 chance. Well, I think we're in pretty good hands to sit here and let this run for a little bit and we'll come back and see what kind of monstrosity rare sword we have. A few minutes later, our extra luck is already paying off. We found a plague bearer, one in 4,000. That definitely looks nice. It's got the length we all love. There's only 23,000 of those in existence. Next is the Valhalla Vanguard. That's one in a thousand, so not as rare, but it has a nice aura and it's not even a sword, it's an axe. And rarest of all, the Circuit Cleaver, which we found earlier, only 14,000 of these in existence. But we'll definitely donate any of these to the cause. Plague Bearer went into this one. Possessing this rune increases your luck during map events by 60%. Yeah, that's still something. And since we can't use something we currently have equipped, we're gonna have to wait till we get something else to be able to donate it to the thing. So we're just gonna go back to rolling, potentially for a very long time. Sometime later, we actually have a few new ones. The Pharaoh Staff, that's 1 in 20,000. Only 5,500 of these exist. So that's fun, and it's very hard to see me while I'm standing in that mess. Also, the Plasma Edge, that's only 1 in 2,000, but it still looks pretty good as well. This one, we're going to have to donate to the shop for better items though, so that's got to go, though I do like the look of it. We'll equip the Pharaoh Staff, 1 in 20,000 is certainly a good find. And the plasma edge we found is also needed in this silver gleam pendant. We need another one of those, but we're actually getting close to creating a few more of these. Night has fallen, but we're just going to stand here by the water for some extra luck and roll away for many hours. 13,000 rolls later, we've got a few new blades, Dragon's Fury, one in 65,000. And we've got two of them. Only 5,000 of these even exist at this point. That's a good one. Plus, I always enjoy lighting myself on fire a great deal. Because we've rolled so many times for so long, we have 1700 gems, which means we're going to buy a whole bunch of potions. And then we're going to use this mountain of potions for better luck, and then we're going to roll into something amazing. And sadly, we had to delete the other Dragon's Fury, and the Pharaoh Staff has to go as well. I will miss it. A few minutes later, I turned the filter down, so now we've got another Opalicizer, one in 6000, and a Circuit Cleaver. Plus another Dragon's Fury and Pharaoh Staff. I'm assuming my luck potions had a great deal to do with that. So we'll delete the ones we don't need, then we'll donate these to the cause. The Sunstone Amulet is definitely something we want for that extra luck. Because I'm pretty sure luck played a giant factor in that, we bought 10,000 gems, so we're gonna spend 10,000 gems on potions just to give us that bit of extra luck we need. Plus a little bit of extra room in our backpack. The hard part is actually clicking on all of these to use. This is gonna take a minute and it's really annoying. Luckily I can use an auto clicker to go back and forth to go use, click, use, click, again and again and again. So at this point, we've got 6,000 seconds of 50% luck and 2,400 seconds of cooldown. So it's back to the waiting game, we'll come back to untold riches. This guy has 1 in 85,000 Serpent Spite, I would love to find that, but this guy's got 1 in 250,000 Shadowbane Reaver. I bet there's very few of those in existence. I've also found Purple Mistral, 1 in 15,000, and another Pharaoh Staff, which we're deme deleting immediately. The purple mistral luckily is needed for an ember core crown, so we only need two more to get this completed. But I'm going to turn my auto equip back to 30,000, the skip warning is basically non-existent, and we're going to roll for a long time. It's a beautiful day, and we have some beautiful new finds to take a look at. The first one being the Void Slayer, one in 50,000, there's currently 19,000 of those in existence. That looks like this, a beautiful purple sword with big purple balls. Next is the Thunderheart, that's 1 in 150,000, that's pretty good luck. 7,800 of these exist. And that's got a very unique uh, vibe to it as well. 
So if that was 150,000, this one is 1 in 250,000. Shadowbane Weaver, there's less than 5,000 of these currently. Uh, yeah, this one's my favorite so far. It turns me into a little demon. So we'll see which one of these the shopkeeper wants for the next uh, upgrade and then we'll sacrifice them all. I'm not actually sure if any of these are needed anywhere because they're actually too rare. We need to tone it down if we want to build this stuff. But we want to roll for rare stuff. 1 in 250,000 is not good enough. But Dragon's Fury is less than 100,000. It can go. Uh, same with Void Slayer. We've got two of these. So we're going to roll like this for the next million hours to see what we land on. I want one in a million. Many, many hours later and our Shadow Bane Weaver is still 1 in 250,000. We did find Poseidon's Fork, otherwise known as Serpent's Bite, 1 in 85,000. Which leaves me with a blue aura surrounded by protective bubbles. One thing we haven't tried yet is the PvP, but I was waiting till I could get an overpowered blade to look my, make myself look better than I am. No one's here to fight anyway, unfortunately, but if they were, we would hit them with our mighty sword. So if someone wanted to come over and help me with that, might be a while before I make any friends in this one.